We're the Thomas County Central High School engine building team for Hot Rodders of Tomorrow. I'm going to introduce my team now. To the left, we've got John Hurst. He's the back table. He manages all of our tools and our parts, organizes. Next, we've got Bryce Evans. He's top end, intake manifold, distributor, carburetor, breather. Next, we have Justin Rogers. He's left side head, also assist on bottom end, piston removal. Next, we've got Tyler Boyette. He's bottom end. There's crank rods, pistons, timing cover, harmonic balancer, and oil pump. And then we've got Cole Harrison. He's right side head. He does right side head, valve train, also catches pistons, and reinstalls bottom end. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a practice run, as we do many times during the week. They're going to tear this engine down, 264 pieces. It's a working engine now. It's adjusted, set, ready to run. They'll tear it down to the bare block, leave the crank in it, go behind the table, hands up, come back once everything's clear, reassemble it, adjust it so that it's ready to run again. Typically, we can do this in less than 22 minutes. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, on my mark. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go.
11 seconds faster than other men. Hold on. Anyway, that ain't fast this year, that's too easy. When you hear it say set and distributor, they need to set the distributor at that. So right now it's on the top dead center of the compression stroke, and that's where it would be firing at. So now we go through plunge, plunge, plunge. No plunge, plunge. No plunge, 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 no plunge. Plunge, no plunge, plunge, plunge. That's exactly right. Good job, guys. So that's what would be considered a perfect build. And 